Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing today, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Aquarius, for October. See what's going to be manifesting in your life, what spirit your spirit guides have to say to me today, darling. All right, Aquarius. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, be sure to check out your sun, moon, and your rising, darling. All right, that's how you get a better understanding of what's happening in your life when you're taking in tarot readings on YouTube or wherever, Aquarius. All right. As well, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates with you. All right, that's how I keep up with you, Aquarius. And if you do enjoy this tarot reading, you know, please give this video a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and it's completely free to do. And I appreciate those who take that extra step to do that for me. So let's begin your tarot reading here. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much for trusting me to read your tarot cards. And let's begin here. All right. With the strength card here in the back of the deck here. All right. Now, the strength card, first of all, is that Leo energy. You might have Leo in your chart or dealing with someone that has Leo in their chart. All right. But this is about you, Aquarius. All right. The strength card is the card of where you're having to like dig deep within to continue going forward here so let's clarify this a little bit before we continue speaking on here all right the world card the hierophant coming in the high priestess girl aquarius we just got four major arcanas for you hello <laughs> aquarius honey <laughs> what is going on in y'all's life right now <laughs> um so as a tarot reader darling all right this is not bad so before anyone's stressing out aquarius all right i'm giggling just because of um as a tarot reader, when you see, when you're pulling cards for somebody, and you see nothing but major arcanas you can pretty much assume that someone's about to be going that person's going to be going through a major transitional period in their life because the major arcana those are your big boy cards those are the big players in your life all right and so for you it feels like whatever whether you could call this a dark night of the soul here but i don't really see it that way for you i see for you aquarius where it's like you're having to dig deep within with your strength here of having to put an end to some type of cycle in your life here all right something that you had committed to for a long time now all right high priestess energy you've finally decided to listen to your intuition about it and then that world card having something come into completion here aquarius you might have this could be in relation to people all right with that hierophant energy the hierophant is a card of marriage so you know uh some of you guys might be deciding to you know leave a type of relationship in your life romantic or platonic all right uh or this could be in a sense of like whatever it is that you're you've devoted to for, uh, devoted a lot of time and energy to all right because the higher fund, you know you think about that marriage energy is just like that devoted till death do us part right so it's something in your life that you thought was going to be part of your life for a lot longer and you you came to terms and realized that something was just like a stepping stone in your life right where it's like things have to continue progressing forward so it, to me this this gives me like a little bit of a bittersweet energy Aquarius where it's just like on one hand like you realize like it sucks where you're just like man I guess I have to listen to my intuition what we'll, we'll get more detail on about this in a moment here it's like man it, it sucks that you had to walk uh move on from this here but i mean personally i mean maybe this is just the optimist in me darling i do feel like while yes it's bittersweet in this sense here i feel like you're excited about what's to come next all right because by finally realizing something's like a stepping stone it's just like well if that's a stepping stone then what's my future going to look like what's the next step going to look like and you know and i also want to take note here uh the steps going all the way up to that sacred geometry there darling right and so it's this sense of where really getting into alignment with if you i don't personally believe in the concept of akashic records but you know I, it just my belief system doesn't have any relevance to y'all's reading right but it is something that was brought up to me so i'm gonna just say it here you know some people believe in the akashic records or just essentially that you some people believe that you're destined to have certain things or certain people happen to you or occur in your life here and that's kind of how i see this here uh aquarius where it's just like yeah you had to have like make a tough decision and accept take something on the chin and accept that something just no longer is for you anymore as much as it made you happy at one point in time you're closing that off with the world card because the world card is the final card in the major arcana representing the closing of one storyline to begin a new a new fool's journey here i see for you guys this could easily gemini well, now i'm calling you gemini aquarius i apologize <laughs> i could easily see this aquarius in a way of where 
you are having to accept like a certain relationship in your life is just no more all right or especially in terms of like pri like things that you've committed to even back of the deck right afterwards you have the six of swords so you're definitely having to move on from something here but it is something that you have to come to completion for because something your neck what's coming afterwards is something better all right i feel like for you five of pentacles it's still it was no longer serving you all right the reason why you felt called to having to move on from it is because this sense of like oil and water is something that i hear realizing something just isn't meshing in the way that it used to something just isn't hitting as it once did right your taste buds have changed your likes and dislikes have changed your taste and people have changed what you want to even do for your life and for your career has changed here things have just changed internally for you aquarius and i feel like on some level you've known this but it's been really hard for you to accept it I feel like there's some level of being in denial or maybe not denial Aquarius maybe that's a little bit presumptuous but I feel as if like you really wanted to see if it was truly done that's what I see this as it's like you really wanted to see if it was truly done and take note remember Aquarius at the beginning of your reading I said that we had the king of wands pop out for you and I took note of it the reason why I took note of it, Aquarius, is because the King of Wands, I'll just try to find it now. The King of Wands, I don't know why I didn't pull it out before. <laughs> the King of Wands is a card, one, it represents the Leo, but also it's the King of Wands is the sense of where you're finally taking lead on something right you're leading with a vision and people are just watching you from afar i do feel like this sense of where it's like you're walking away from people or walking away from a situation and people are just like observing you afterwards like i feel like you people are caught off guard by what it is that you've decided um is something here because i do get like this sense here aquarius here we go all right like you know you'll take note here where it's just like i feel like you were really observing something while most of the time here uh aquarius i will say like i usually will say like the lion is the per like other people and you are the king of wands here but i actually feel like you are the lion like in this sense here where it's just like you have been observing something for quite some time like you've been seeing how things that the details been panning out especially in regards to people you've been observing certain people or just one person darling and you're just like hmm like i feel like you've been in this watching phase for a while here and i don't think you've been oblivious to any of it necessarily but i feel like you wanted to be really sure about something before you decided to take action all right and i feel like for you like you wanted to really observe like your internal emotions like i feel like you didn't want to be irrational right you i feel like you were i feel i feel i feel like right <laughs> i apologize but i do feel like aquarius for you and i really respect this about you darling is this sense of where you saw something that you it just wasn't hidden the same way but i feel like you were initially internalizing it being like all right am i the problem here am i being too critical am i being too cynical all right you were really you didn't want to take action because you wanted to really make sure is your intuition uh telling you what to do you really wanted to make sure that on some level that this uh this period of your life this uh whatever this is about was just truly like a stepping stone and there's just going to be no more because i and i feel like this really reflects on like the magnitude of what this energy was all right and that's why i get like the sense of bittersweetness where it's just like it sucks that it had to happen this way but i feel like you still are really excited about what's to come for you next here let's continue progressing on with this here <clears throat> nine of swords all right we don't need to progress to continue tapping into this energy here ultimately i feel like what your your decision is definitely justified here you we both clarifiers you're, you're both looking down i feel like the situation has just made you re ultimately like depressed and just like it just hasn't been doing well for your mental health here personally i feel like that's why you've needed to like let go of that what let go of some type of energy and come have a have that come into completion so you can just truly move on so what happens afterwards we acknowledge that there's something to, that is just no longer of service to you aquarius now what happens for you six of pentacles coming in here with the king of pentacles one more page of wands fabulous so let's paint this picture here aquarius all right you have the six and king of pentacles here all right the six of pentacles firstly you know it's like that tit for tat energy it's that sense of where it is representative of the scales right and so it's like whatever the next thing that you start putting energy into 
there is this sense of more stability, all right? So for example, here, Aquarius, you could have been working a job and an office job and on some level, you knew deep down that you couldn't see yourself doing that for the rest of your life, right? Or a certain type of person that maybe at one point in time, you were just like, okay, yeah. Like when the connection first started, she's like, oh yeah, we're gonna be best of friends. I mean, that's presumably how most connections relationships should be anyways, where you're just like, yeah, we're gonna be friends. We're gonna be connected for a, li a lifetime, right? certain things happen honey and where you know where you realize where it's just like what you're putting into the situation you're not it's not reciprocal all right and so what happens afterwards by you having to have that bittersweet energy where you're walking away from that situation right here you come into this energy of something a lot more solid a lot more stable and something that will definitely something that you actually can see in the force like that uh girl can I use my words something that you could see doing uh or entertaining for the foreseeable future that's what i was trying to say here right this king of pentacles energy brings sense this sense of like maturity you know i always say when it comes to the earth signs especially is the sense of where you don't really have to play a guessing game or mind games with earth energies like you take it, it like you take what you get or it's like you take what it is right it's like you know you don't really have to see and read in between the lines you don't have to be left in this place of nine of pentacles or not nine of pentacles nine of swords five of pentacles energy where it's just like you know especially when it comes to people like you don't know where you stand with certain people all the time or just like anything with your job situation or what have you this feels a lot more stable this feels a lot more solid of where it's just like a lot more reciprocal of what you put in you get back all right page of wands energy the page of wands by definition represents girl <laughs> <laughs> the page of wands energy aquarius <laughs> is an energy by definition of new opportunity coming forward here i feel like you're going into something that just like sparks up uh motivation for you a, uh, a new what is the there's like a quote that i want to say it's just like a new set of a uh, new view on life is that what it is a new view on life i think so so let's clarify what this new opportunity is coming in for you that you know is a lot more reciprocal seemingly a lot more stable you don't have to play the mind games or just like i don't feel like you play the mind games i feel like you're more so just trying to detach yourself away from people that just can't be normal aquarius so i'm going to just use like a specific analogy that just this first thing that came to mind is like i feel like you have been trying to like entertain certain connections family friends what have you and it's just like the connections it, like they're good if people are just normal when they're just you know being very straight up not trying to cause problems and you know but it's like people always like to just, you know, sometimes darling, right? Maybe I'm just alone in this, but you know, I've noticed where it's just like you, some certain people or certain family members, they always have to cause some type of drama or complicate things. You know, it can't, it can never just be a time of where it's just like you're just sitting together enjoying each other's company there, right? And I feel like for you here, you're disconnecting away from that and then finally entertaining connections there where it's just like, you know, like when you connect to, you know, you may not talk to them all the time, but when you do connect to them, it's solid. You know, it's like you have, you, you know, those friendships where you've known them for years and you can go months or years without talking. And when you talk to them again, um, it's like time has never left. That's where I feel like this new energy is coming in for you, whether this is like a job. I feel like it's more so like people, to be honest. I feel like you're detaching yourself away from people. Page of Wands. The first clarifier that came out was this Ace of Cups. And let's clarify this a couple more two of wands here and then the lover's energy yeah this is definitely about people here aquarius i feel like your social setting your group the group of people that you're going to be around vastly different than um where you're currently at here i really do feel like you're moving on from some like you're accepting that someone in your life just is no longer for you anymore and so two of wands ace of cups energy this new energy that's coming in here you're going to be uh a, being matched with people that are a lot more solid all right this could be like someone that you feel really intertwined with by the soul or what have you here you know it's like a funny thing here aquarius especially if this is about people here you could have uh, associated this other person as like a soulmate easily as someone that is a soulmate or twin flame you know i don't really get into too much detail about those you know something i want to point out is just like yeah someone could be a soulmate for you aquarius and something unfortunately with pop culture 
is that everyone always thinks that soulmates have to always be like the ones that are going to be your forever right and that's a fab that's a fabulous thing to be hopeful for but it's just not real realistic as well as soulmates don't always have to be about romance and i know darling you kind of sounds a little bit funny for me to say it's just like this doesn't have to be about romance while we have this <laughs> these two people darling doing what they're doing honey all right if you're of age you already know what's up here but <laughs> i do feel like for you aquarius is the sense of where we don't have to villainize an energy right i don't like villainizing the other parties right or anything like that we're all just human i feel like you're seeing some type of soul connection it felt good at the time you know y'all are just you know and y'all started going different paths so y'all's connection just isn't the same anymore so page of wands energy is this time of it's really a time for where it's just like okay accepting some type of soul connection that you had with somebody that you thought you're going to be with for a lifetime no longer is going to be happening for you on to the next year essentially here so i really feel like for your storyline here aquarius is that it's seemingly the sense of where you're always going to have someone with some type of soul connection toward uh around you all right that is something like this is completely uh intuitive so take it with a grain of salt darling you know you call me crazy if you want to but i do feel like intuitively for you aquarius and this could just be representative of you having like a really close connection with your soulmate or not your soulmates with your spiritual team like your spirit guides your ancestors or something but i do feel like you always have some type of spiritual force around you whether that's like having someone on your soul tribe always being around you or just like you're never alone truly alone there's always going to be someone that gets you on a very deep spiritual level here all right and so it feels as if just like how you had you start out your connection beforehand right with this other person before things got complicated right you know uh with that higher friend energy just like that old connection where it's just like oh things felt really good really solid here you know the world energy you close out that one you close out this uh solid connection with this one person right maybe you needed to learn certain lessons with this person and now that you learned the lessons on to the next lesson on to the next person in your soul tribe to teach you some more lessons so rather than uh aquarius seeing these connections from a place of resentment or seeing this as if you failed or anything like that see this as a time of where it's just like all right i you know the you observed what you needed to observe you learned what you needed to learn with some type of soul connection there now it's on to the next now it's time for you to move on into the next situation that's going to be i don't want to say just as because it's i feel like it's a completely different type of dynamic like i feel like it's weird to compare these two energies here but i feel as if the next connection coming in for you it's just as like it feels just as good as this old situation all right situation um it feels just as good as this old situation but in a different way because I feel like you're seeing this with a new set of eyes or just something like that. Like, I don't know, like something's different uh, about this uh, next thing coming in for you. But it feels just as good. It feels just as good as I'm promising. So let's get into your Oracle cards real quick here. Girl. <laughs> Aquarius, all right. Fortune wheel, luck and the right timing. Number five in numerology. So go ahead and look that up for me, Aquarius, at a later point in time to see what messages that has. But I laugh so much at this fortune's wheel, luck and the right timing for you, just because of this fact of where it's like, for one, you'll see this uh, similarity between this King of Pentacles here, uh, with with the Pentacle as well as this Wheel of Fortune here, essentially, right? But um, with this here, it's like I always say the Wheel of Fortune is constantly turning in way, one way or another here. And I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is actually starting to turn in your life. So you're going to be starting to notice a lot of like things starting to happen at once, right? So I feel like it's like um, a series of events that are going to be happening for you in the coming days. But it's, and especially in this dynamic here, I feel like it's really positive for you. I feel like you're coming into October Aquarius with... Um, really coming in with like a clean slate like you're coming into this uh month here with like a lot more like a lot of new connections that you're going to be meeting with as well as just projects and all that like i feel as if like things are finally changing for the better now that like very much so like spring cleaning like you you had to get a lot rid of a lot of old energy and it's through having to move on from that stuff that you're now bringing in this new stuff here all right so i feel pretty positive about thing uh things for you overall here aquarius 
the only thing i really want to say about this here is just like you know <laughs> just don't be sad right i acknowledge how obnoxious that is but it you know it is a sense of where you know you can appreciate something you can appreciate the 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 role something or someone played in your life for an set amount of time well yes ideally we wanted to have it last forever but that's just not reality all the time right things change the wheel of fortune always is changing right things change see a situation through the uh, through a lens of love I know that sounds super corny, but see see a situation through the lens of love and a sense of appreciation for what it taught you. And because it's like what that situation taught you, then you will you will be able to apply it with this new energy coming forward because it just feels a lot more elevated. All right. So let's get your moon oracle card here trust in the universe darling this is your quarter moon darling first quarter moon in aquarius trust the universe they have your back darling they have a plan for you aquarius all right if anything that if you take anything from this tarot reading here today darling all right like i truly feel like this is like a sense of where you're seeing a situation you you saw it for what it is came to completion we don't need to add any type of bitter energy you know you might feel a certain type of way about the situation that you walked away from but that's her kitchen table talk right we we acknowledge that it was it is what it is right i don't feel like you're really sitting on it in a negative way at all so i won't preach to y'all too much more because y'all get it right y'all get it so let's get your mantra card for the week aquarius and then i'll set you i'll leave you to the rest of your day here darling all right <clears throat> All right, Ooh, girl, come on now. We have, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. I do whatever it takes to get closer to, con to consciousness. And it's a little owl right there. So, you know, you might be noticing owls as well in your life in the coming days here, Aquarius. But can we just acknowledge this mantra right here? I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Notice how all of your cards really have just been in alignment with like your soul's destiny, your soul's path, all that type of thing, right? Even though I don't personally believe in like this sense of where you know, I already talked about it, right? But I do feel like you guys are, you may feel like just because everything's up in the air right now that you're feeling lost or like you don't know if you're uh, progressing on your path or on your spiritual journey here. But I do feel like you're exactly where you need to be. You have the mind, I feel like overall you have the mindset that's necessary um, to continue moving forward here. Just understand that nothing is a waste. You have the connect, like you got what you needed to have from previ the previous situation. Now, understand that every step that you take every day that happens you're just getting closer to consciousness darling right it sounds super corny right very new agey it's just like girl saying a bunch of fluffy words but not really saying anything at all but i do really feel as if especially with like you have two different cards really trying to stress out to uh to you about the universe and your spiritual team and what have you here aquarius so it's like you truly have some uh some higher forces uh at hand influencing your life all right darling so i love you so much aquarius you know this energy was such a pleasure to read as always darling y'all are always my most uh complicated but always the most fun reading i always do for my zodiac so love you so much darling i hope you enjoyed this tarot reading today and i'll connect to you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.